Hello and welcome to Hackolade. In this video session, we explain in detail the handy feature of Hackolade to facilitate the work of data modelers. It provides the ability to create once object definitions that can be reused in multiple places. Maintaining a library of definitions has many advantages, such as standardizing content and ensuring consistency. Such dictionary also simplifies the work of data modelers, so maintenance can be performed in one place and be automatically propagated to all places where the definition is referenced. Definitions can be maintained at three distinct levels. At the entity level, called internal definitions, at the model level, and the third one, external definitions. Internal definitions have limited use because they can only be reused or referenced within the same entity, a collection or a table. But internal definitions ensure JSON compatibility. Model definitions, on the other hand, can be referenced in any entity of the same Hackolade model. Finally, external definitions are Hackolade models that can be referenced in whole or in part by any other Hackolade model. A good simple example of a reusable definition is an address. This type of object may be used in many different places inside a model and in different models too. Even within one single entity, you may have, for example, a billing address and a shipping address. I've created here a simple MongoDB collection structure with a sub-object for a person. But now I anticipate that I might be using this sub-object in multiple places. Let's first convert this object to an internal definition. We do a right click on the object that has been previously created, go to reference, convert to definition, internal. You will notice also that we cannot make any changes to the structure of the object. Controls are disabled. Now let's create another object appending an attribute based on the internal reference be, that has been created previously. We can now rename it to child, for example. And we see that we have two objects that are based on the same definition of a person. If we go to internal definitions to the lower tab, we can modify this definition and, for example, append an attribute called gender for which we're going to create an enumeration with male and female. And if we go back to the schema of the collection, we can see that the addition of the new attribute is now reflected in all places where the definition is being referenced, including all of the metadata for the attributes that have been maintained at the definition level. Now go to the lower tab, JSON preview. We can see that the definitions appear in the corresponding section of the JSON schema and they are referenced in the properties section, definition. Definitions are not carried over to the NoSQL database. They are resolved prior to doing forward engineering, as seen here in this MongoDB script, where all of the attributes of each sub-object are defined in the script. Let's say now that you want one of the sub-objects to live its own life, that is, disconnected from its original definition, for example, because you want to adjust its structure. You first need to convert the reference to its own attributes by going to right-click, reference, then replace by attribute. And now you're able to edit the structure, for example, by removing the attribute last name. Next, you decide that you actually need an object structure to be available model-wide instead of just to this collection. Let's convert a sub-object to a model definition. Right-click, reference, convert to definition, and let's choose model. 
because it is a model definition, it will not be viewable in this internal definitions lower tab of an entity, but actually by going back to the entity relationship diagram view and as a lower tab model definition, where you're going to be able to see the model definition. Now let's look at external definitions. I'll go to another instance of Hackalade to show a model of an address. There's an address object defined with a bunch of attributes. You will notice by going to the details here of the tree view that one object itself is a reference to another external model, a GeoJSON point definition. This means that we can handle cascading external references. Let's go back to our original model where we want to import this address definition. Let's append an attribute, go to reference, external, and the user is prompted with this dialog, either to reference a file path, an absolute or relative path, or the URL of an internet link. In this case, I have the model defined here, and I have the choice of the object I want to uh, reference. I'll pick address and we now see that this entire structure is being referenced in our collection definition. It is important to note that with external definitions, if you make changes to the original definition in the external model, it requires reloading the referencing model before changes get reflected. We conclude here this video session, which we hope you have found useful. Please consult our website, hackalate.com, for additional information and download our 14-day free trial of the software. Thank you for your attention.